Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are cooking uh, barbecue pork, which is basically barbecue ribs. Um, and I have this Mahatma garlic and olive oil jasmine rice. Sounds so good. Garlic and olive oil. And you know what guys? Check that out. What it says right there in the corner. Microwave ready in 90 seconds. I've had this rice before. 90 seconds just put it in the microwave and it's done and you can see the rice through the bottom with all the herbs and spices it's like a garlic olive oil kind of flavored rice it's so good i've got two of those and i've got my masterpiece kettle cook the american original barbecue sauce i love this this is a really good barbecue sauce and it's thick i like the fact that it's thick and it's good and of course you guys know I've had my ribs marinating overnight. They have been marinating all night. They is ready to be cooked and for me to eat. Yep, yes they are. Look at those ribs. And these are the barbecue ribs, you know, just cut. You know, already pre-cut for you. So I like getting them like that. It's easier for the girls, you guys know. For kids, it's easier. So all right, that's what we're doing this morning. Barbecue ribs over uh, the garlic olive oil rice. I just call it garlic rice. That's too much for me. But, yep, that's what we're cooking today, guys. Let go. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come back and show you guys how I'm going to be panning this up. I am not going to line my pan with aluminum like I usually do. I'm not going to do that uh, because this pork is thick. I am going to spray my pan with oil at the bottom this will help my pork cook and because this pork is so thick because these ribs are so thick I'm not gonna line them with aluminum foil because the Gotham pans they get really really hot Gotham uh, cookware gets hot it holds heat so I really I'm really gonna need all that heat to help me out with my meat because my meat is so thick so, I'm just going to line it up in my pan like this across, giving everybody their space to cook. I've already got my oven preheated at 425 degrees. So, because the pork is so thick, I'm giving everybody their space because they're going to need all their space. They're going to need all their heat to cook. And this is the ribs, the boneless ribs. So, like I said, the meat is thick. So, you want to make sure that meat gets cooked all the way through because it is so thick. Let me bring you guys in a little more. So you can see what I'm doing. So, let me wash my hands. You guys have already seen. You see how thick the pork is. So, sometimes I'll uh, cut up onions and throw onions across it. But I didn't do that because I seasoned it with, um, with onion garlic season. So, all of that's already in there. So, this is how I'm panning it up. And I am going to cover it with aluminum. I am going to cover it with the aluminum foil because like I said because the meat is so thick I'm gonna cover it with aluminum for about about 30 minutes that helps your meat get cooked inside um, you know cuz like I said the meat's so thick you know when you're dealing with thick meat you gotta cook different you know cuz you want to make sure your meat gets cooked all the way through so get my aluminum foil here and um yeah i'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil and i'm gonna cook it for about 30 minutes about half an hour with the aluminum foil on it and then i'll take the aluminum foil off and let it finish cooking without the aluminum foil didn't tear that long enough Okay. All right. 
get a longer piece so we can cover it from one side to the other really good. And I like wrapping it really, really tight so it holds that heat in. Real tight like that. All right, you guys see how I got to wrap real tight? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the oven. Uh, my oven's already preheated 425 degrees. I'm gonna cook it with the aluminum foil on top for about half an hour. And then I'll take the aluminum foil off. And then I'll cook it for like another maybe, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, it's thicker pork, so it's gonna take a little longer to cook. So I'll probably do 30 minutes with the aluminum foil and then 30 minutes with it off. And then we'll add all that good stuff like our barbecue sauce. So. All right, guys, let me get it in the oven. I'll be back to check in with you guys. Okay, guys, let's get into cooking this rice. One thing I love about this rice is that it's quick and easy, and it tastes just as good. It's really nice and fluffy. Okay, so let's get into our garlic and olive oil jasmine rice. Let's get into some good light. Okay, all right, so let's see what we have to do. I've done this before, but you know, I have to pretend, you know, that I haven't done it so you guys can see. All right. Anyway, uh, cooking instructions in the microwave, it says here, you guys can see, squeeze unopened pouch to separate rice, tear two inch to vent at the top of package, heat on high for 90 seconds, cooking time for two pouches is two and a half minutes. All right, we've got two pouches, but you know what, I'm only going to do one pouch at a time. So, all right, so, separating our rice. Yada yada yada. We're going to separate that rice like this. This is what it means when it says to separate the rice. You're kind of kneading it, you know? What they call kneading. But yeah, we're just separating the rice so it doesn't chunk all up, you know, when you cook it. So we are separating the rice. La 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 la. La 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 la. Blah, blah, blah. Separate the lay rice of lay Mahatma. I think that's how you say it. Y'all know I'll be speaking different languages. Y'all know I'm fluent. Don't do that. I am fluent in many languages. I'm just kidding, y'all. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's enough separating. Okay. All right. So we're going to tear. And you see right here, it's got a little, little uh, tear thing right there for you already. So we're going to tear that back two inches. Okay, I guess that's two inches, child. I don't know about, know about all that. Okay, I think that's good enough. One, two inches, yep. All right, so it can vent. Let me make sure. Okay, yep, look, we got it open in there, see? Got it open. You can see the rice down in there. All right, 90 seconds, guys. Oh, it smells so good. The rice smells like garlic and herbs. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, this rice is really good. 90 seconds? Come on, it don't get no quicker than that. 90 seconds, don't tell me y'all can't fix no rice. 90 seconds for some rice. And this rice only costs like a dollar and some change. Come on, y'all. Y'all can fix some rice. <laughs> no excuses. Anyway, all right, so let's get it in the microwave. 90 seconds. We're sitting it up. Make sure y'all sit the rice up. Make sure the rice is standing up. That's why they make the bag like this, so you can stand it up. All right, so standing up in the microwave. All right, let me see. If y'all can see up there in the microwave. Y'all know I I will take y'all up. There it is. Y'all see it up in the microwave. Up in the microwave. All right. Make sure y'all keep y'all microwaves clean. Word of the day. Always keep your microwaves clean. Because that's one thing people forget about when they be cleaning. Make sure you keep that microwave clean. Dirty microwave tells you a lot. So make sure y'all keep y'all microwave clean. All right, so it says 90 seconds. All right, 90 seconds. Wait, I said 90 seconds. Okay, all right. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. All right, so we got our rice in there for 90 seconds, y'all. Y'all can wait 90 seconds. That's a minute and a half, y'all. Well, a minute and a half goes by fast. I can just talk to y'all and entertain y'all while we waiting on the rice. But anyway, like I said, Make sure y'all keep y'all microwaves cleaned. Um, and these little things, y'all see these little things hanging over my stove right here? 
those are what they call like um say a fire breaks out on your stove and they and these little things once they hit a certain temperature like white foam comes out it's like a little mini fire extinguisher over your stove i think they're pretty cool you know because you never know y'all know i cook all the time now so you gotta be safe you gotta be safe you never know you gotta be safe you never know nowadays you never know so yeah i got two of them one on each side you know <laughs> In case one decided don't want to work, you know how I got back up. Better work. Anyway, y'all. Yeah, so. Make sure you keep your microwaves clean. Always clean your microwave. Keep your microwave clean, ladies. Gentlemen. Whoever. Kids. Whoever listening. Keep your microwaves clean. Because I done been to people's house and seen some dirty microwaves. I'm like, well, what happened? You forgot to clean the microwave, sis? Okay. Clean your microwave. Clean your microwave. Keep your microwaves clean. Like I tell you, a dirty microwave tells you a lot. <laughs> Alright, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, keep your microwave clean. Alright, so let me get the rice out for us. Okay. It's hot, y'all. Okay, let's take it over. Hold on. Hold on. Rice, you hot. Rice, you hot. Alright, y'all. Hold on. Let's get over here to the rice. It is hot. 90 seconds, y'all. Ooh. Don't be trying to burn me now. I am a professional. Don't be trying to burn me. Ooh, that looks good, y'all. Let me tear this out. I'm telling you, it smells so good. It smells like garlic and herbs. Oh, my goodness. With that barbecue sauce on the pork, and you sit this over this rice, sit that over this rice, Oh my God, the garlic with the barbecue pork. Oh my God, just a bunch of flavors. You just, just a whole bunch of flavors going on here. All right, let me do this, cause this tripping over here. Okay, it's off now. All right, so let me get a bowl down so we can pour this rice in this bowl. So y'all can see, 90 seconds. 90 seconds, y'all can have some good fresh rice. No, it ain't rice you boil, but they making things eat, eat real easy for us. So they making it easy for us. So there's no excuses. So I'm sorry. If you're going to make it easy for me, I have no problem with that. No problem with you making it easy for me. Thank you for making it easy for me. Because I work hard every day. Monday through, Monday through Friday. But I work on weekends too. Y'all know. Don't do that. I work hard. Please make it easy for me. Please. And look at that rice. Look at that. Y'all see it? Smoking hot. It's soft. Beautiful. Nice. Fluffy rice. In 90 seconds. If y'all don't go fix no rice, this 90 second rice. No reason why y'all can't fix no rice. 90 seconds, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Fluffy rice. Blue, beautiful. Beautiful. I gotta cook that other bag, too. I'm taking y'all in. Y'all know I'm going to take y'all in so y'all can really see. So y'all can really see. Show y'all. It's hot. We just took it out of the microwave. Duh. But I'm just saying. Look at that. Nice and hot. 90 seconds. <clears throat> and you know what? My hot ma has. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> My hot ma has all kind of flavors. All kind of flavors. I think I got some other flavors up here. I'm sure I do. <laughs> y'all know how I do. Oh, yep, I do. Okay, let me show y'all some other flavors. Look at this. They got the cilantro lime. Lemon. It says a lemon. Try that. That means lime. Jasmine rice. They got the lime flavor. And they got the regular jasmine rice. If you want just the regular white rice, they got that too. They got all kind of flavors, y'all. They do. They got all kind of flavors. They got the um, Spanish rice. I forgot what other flavors they got, but they have different flavors. So, I mean, 90 seconds, y'all. Come on. Come on now. Mahatma better be better sponsor me for this. But I'm just saying, y'all know I'm telling the truth. 90 seconds for this rice. And it's good. It's fluffy, good rice. And it just tastes like garlic and butter and herbs. And it's just going to be so good with that roasted barbecue rib with the barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's going to be real good. I'm imagining it right now. Okay, y'all. All right, let me go cook this other rice. Y'all saw me how I cooked it. It only took me 90 seconds. 
We've got our barbecue pork in the oven, and I will check in with you guys when that um, when those barbecue ribs get done. I'm pulling them out so I can get that barbecue sauce on them. I'll, I'll come back and show you guys me doing that. All right, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys. I'm back. Our pork, our barbecue ribs have been in the oven for half an hour. All right. Okay. So, what I like to do when I bring them out, because they're not finished cooking. I know they're not. I like taking a sharp knife and just stabbing them all the way through. Just making a couple of stabs through. So you know what? As they finish cooking, me poking this through, this knife through, will help them finish cooking on the inside. Because since, since it is such thick pork, and as I stab it, I can still see a little blood coming out. So I already know they're not done anyway. But that just confirms what I said. They're not done. They've only been in the oven half an hour. So I like taking a nice sharp knife and just poking it through like that. Poking it all the way through. All the way through. All right. Okay. So, that was 30 minutes with the aluminum foil on. Now, we're going to put it back in for about another 30 without the aluminum foil. And it should be all nice and done. <clears throat> and then I'll be back so we can go ahead and add that barbecue, the little barbecue sauce. All right, y'all. You better hurry up and cook. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, we've got our barbecue ribs out of the oven. They are all nice and done and cooked all the way through. So now I'm going to add our barbecue sauce. And then <clears throat> I'll put them back in the oven for about 15 minutes. And I just drizzle it on there like that. And I've got my little brush here. I'm going to go ahead and brush it on. And I just do one side, that's enough. The barbecue sauce will work, it, work its way down to the bottom. Let you guys see that. And I just take my little handy dandy brusher that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So if you need one, Dollar Tree has them for a dollar. And if you don't do Dollar Tree, Walmart has them too. And I just take my brush and I just brush my barbecue sauce on there just like that. I get it all on the sides. Make sure everybody got some barbecue sauce. Just brush it on there like that. Get them all barbecued up on the sides. Yes. Oh, this barbecue sauce is so good. This barbecue sauce reminds me of the Sunny's barbecue sauce. So good. It's like that sweet, sweet smoke taste. Just brush it like that along the sides, making sure everything getting that barbecue sauce on it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, you ain't got to do a whole lot of brushing. Just put the sauce on there. You ain't got to do too much. All right, everybody nicely coated. All right, that was simple and <laughs> that was easy. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the oven, keeping it at that 425. I'm gonna put it in there for 15 minutes so the barbecue sauce can get all baked through. All right, when I come back, that'll be it, guys. I'll be back. 
Okay, here is our complete dinner, our barbecue ribs, and our garlic olive oil rice. All done and complete, guys. Done and complete. Taking y'all in, of course, so that y'all can see the barbecue ribs. A sea of barbecue. Amazing. Some people usually play music when they show the food. But you know what? I'd rather just be here with you guys when you witness the moment of the food. And I can throw in a little, ah, uh, I can throw in that. You know, my own music. <laughs> anyway, all right, y'all. Barbecue ribs all nice and done. Ooh, why y'all trying to go in and be nosy like that? Ooh, look at them barbecue ribs. Ooh, wee. And barbecue ribs look so good. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go over to the rice. Show y'all the rice again. Zoom y'all into the rice. There it is. There it is. And y'all see I put the parsley on it. I'm going to put some parsley on my ribs too. Sure is. Take my pictures for Instagram. Oh, wait. Yes. Alright, y'all. Well. Y'all know what I always say? You see me do it, so you know I did it. Y'all saw. Don't. I don't know why y'all be trying to act like y'all ain't see me do this. Y'all saw me cook this. Y'all saw. So. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys. Knowledge. Get that knowledge. Because knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.